Landon Donovan joins us now from Pretoria, South Africa, the location of yesterday's historic victory. Good morning and congratulations. Has the reality of the, the importance of what happened yesterday sunk in yet? Uh, it's starting to set in a bit. Um, it's a little better now, I think, than it was eight years ago with the sort of invention of YouTubes and Facebook and Twitter, we get a really good idea of what's going on back home. And it's been a pretty cool, uh, I guess, 16 hours or so for us. Well, I'll tell you what, it is the only thing everybody in this country is talking about. Bars filled with people, mm -hmm. people, uh, you know, hanging on television sets, not working. It really was a phenomenal victory. Pure excitement, joy, relief. Um, happiness. Wow, because prior to that, the United States mm -hmm. had so many chances. You had a goal um, uh, called yeah. offside, the Dempsey goal, which was clearly mm -hmm. not offside. We're thinking this is Slovenia all over again, yep. where goals are taken away by referees. Was, it, was, was the team frustrated or was the team determined at that point? Well, at, at that moment, there's nothing you can do. Once the goal is called off, it's called off, and that's the reality of the situation in that moment. Uh, is it frustrating? Yeah, but you have to keep going. I think it was more frustrating having all those chances and not scoring. So the tension had been building for quite a long time, and you know, along with all the happiness, there was just finally a sense of relief, like we did what we, des what we deserved to do, and things finally fell our way. Here you are this weekend, you'll face Ghana. What's the feeling among the team about, uh, yep. about uh, the opportunity this weekend? Well, not only did we move on, we finished first in our group, which is huge. Um, the alternative would have been to play Germany, uh, who is a very, very good team. Ghana are still a good team, but that's a team we feel like we match up well with and a team we can beat. So we've got two days now to recover, which in soccer terms isn't a lot of time, but we're going to give it everything we have Saturday and hopefully uh, do something even more special. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.